scarify the lawn and top dress it and then it's going to be level. <laughs> Before I do that I just want to try and find the sprinkler heads and gas them with a bit of paint so I don't scarify over a sprinkler head. So I'm not going to do all of them it's just the ones that I've got a feeling I'll hit. <laughs> So it's pretty windy today, so apologies for the wind noise. An old drink bottle is the best funnel I reckon you'll find. So what I do want to do is just muck around getting this set right. Those blades, I kind of just want them to cut into the ground a little bit because this thing here pulls the thatch out of like the soil layer, not so much. You know, that, that's what it's for, it's for going in deep like that. So. Set the depth just with these things, yeah. Undo them. And then it sort of slides up and down like that, sets the depth. Little indicators here. <laughs> I was seriously thinking I'd be able to make like a blooper reel out of it. How many times it takes me to start that, but that was legit first pull. So that was first pass. The thing was set up pretty high, so it didn't grab a whole lot off. But yeah, you can just see from that bit, look how much stuff's coming out. There's still heaps more to come. I'll lower that a bit more and then rip it up. I'm just gonna be brutal with this, so see so yeah, how we go. Look at all that. There's a heap in there, I'm gonna have to go over it a few times. All right, I'll leave you alone. Piles and piles of thatch. That's just one pass. It's amazing. So I'll get the normal <clears throat> rotary mower out, that poor thing that just gets thrashed, and I'll scoop all this up, mow it nice and short, and then uh, have a look at the areas that I'm gonna have to top dress pretty heavy. This is gonna be some. Uh, a lot. And yeah, go from there. So that's what it's gone back down to. You can see not a whole lot there. Um, I just can't get my mower any lower than that. I probably w ideally would like to go even lower, but with some top dress, it's gonna come up nice. Now this top dress is gonna be pretty heavy because it's very uneven. It's probably hard to see on the camera, but uh, yeah. 
dips and holes galore. Top dress, level as best I can and give it a water in and then wait. So this is the top dress mix I got. I had to go for a two hour trip to get it, but <laughs> um, I've got it. Ended up with about 1.8 ton, I think. Um, yeah, it's awesome. There's no rocks or anything in it. it. Cost 50 bucks per bucket and I got, I paid for three buckets, so 150 bucks so far. I'm predicting that I'll need what's in here plus what's in the U. <clears throat> Again, it's another trailer, another car load. Day two. <laughs> Yesterday was too hot. Pretty much spread out everywhere. It's not perfect because it can't be. It's ridiculous how bad this level is, so it's gonna take me a while to get there. Down there is done. Again, ridiculously bad, but and I'll go around and I'll just touch up little bits here and there when I need to fix it. Especially when I start mowing, I'll see where it's gonna where it's gonna need extra sand. One of the things I am going to do before it, um, all of this sand's still a bit damp, so once it's dry, I'll rub it in a little bit more. I'm gonna put down some of this stuff. Um, humic acid, just the granular form from Plant Doctor. This sand is all pretty bland, like there's not a whole lot of nutrients to it, it's just the leveling factor we're using it for. So this humic acid um, contains a number of things to help the sand and the soil use available nutrients that are currently in the soil from all the stuff I've been putting down. So this is just gonna help beef up the um, beef up the soil a bit. So I'll just put a heap of that on there, spread it around. Then I'll do a light fertilize and rub it all in with the spreader, then give it a water and then wait. It's, gonna, it's just gonna take so long for this to go through. I'm just gonna have to deal with that. I was gonna do some light top dresses, like multiple light ones, but I can't be bothered. I'm just gonna go heavy and deal with it and just try and keep the dogs off of it. Even just as I'm walking around with this thing, I can still feel how unlevel it is, so it's gonna need a, it's gonna need a fair bit. Alrighty, so that's worked into the soil, the humic castle. I didn't end up putting any fertilizer down yet. Um, just gonna put the sprinklers on. It's getting a little bit windy, but I'll, yeah, water it in a little bit. And then I'm just gonna have to play around with the levels and uh, later. So I think I've had to sort of just tell myself to have realistic expectations about what's gonna happen with the lawn this year because it's easy to think, oh yeah, I'll just put all this sand on it and then it will just be perfect, but it's not gonna be like that. So my predictions are, it's gonna need another pretty heavy top dress once it all grows through. Second and third predictions are that the cats and the dogs will be going to town digging holes on this. So I've just gotta prepare myself for that when I come home and see the holes and stuff. So, but super pumped at what I've got done. Took me the two days. Uh, four hours of driving and a bit of sand and so thanks for watching thanks to the people that are leaving some comments and thanks to the ones that are subscribing it's it really means a lot to me appreciate it thank you and yeah get out there get stuck into it go and rent out your lawn um, go and waste 300 bucks on sand in your rental property <laughs> yeah just enjoy it it's good for you it's good for your mental health to be out there and it's just 
just makes you smile. So, cheers, guys. Thanks. See ya.